Hi everyone, welcome back to EOS Marketplace News. I'm Riz, bringing you up to date with the latest EOS currency news. Now, let's start with discussing about EOS price prediction of 2018 and why buying this cryptocurrency could be a profitable investment. So, let's hear it from the experts. So there are a lot of speculation going around for the currency community of 2019. According to Steemit writer Ordinary Rich, it is very likely that EOS will be worth about $20 by 2019. Purchasing 1,000 units of the currency will be profitable uh, investment if this happens. Now, these are some of the list of some possible events in 2019. Number one is Bitcoin and Ethereum's dominance of the currency market will reduce by about 15%. And more currencies are coming into the market, so this is a possibility. Um, one of them is EOS, which is a currency that has a lot of potential in the market right now. So the currency market will go up by about 4% and EOS may rise or may see a rise in its market capitalization of about 60% of Ethereum's. Now, if this happens, EOS may rise about to about $70. So frankly enough, this is a bold prediction, right? So EOS may also hit this price if more currencies enter the market and the EOS community continues to grow. Even if all these happen, it is possible for some other factors to somehow contribute to adversely or positively to the growth of EOS. Well, anyway, this is just a prediction. So let's go back to the basic question what is eos again so we have established in my previous videos that eos is a blockchain based decentralized operating system designed to support commercial scale decentralized applications by providing all of the necessary core functionality enabling business to build blockchain applications in a way similar to web-based application now the journey of eos currency started in mid 2017 by Dan Larimer, founder and creator of BitShares and Steam. And unlike most of the crypto coins, the ICO and token distribution period of EOS ran over the year. So EOS aims uh, to be the quickest platform for DApps or decentralized apps and can process about 50,000 confirmations per second. Ethereum successfully overcame the transaction uh, issues of Bitcoin. And moreover, the Bitcoin blockchain does not support the excessive development of decentralized applications and the OS. Uh, the OS. EOS has challenged the Ethereum blockchain by allowing much faster transactions. And this will also enable EOS to create more advanced the app. Um, dApps. This will also lead towards a future of tokenized economy globally. So, is it possible for Ethereum to, lo uh, to lose to EOS? Well, since the inception of EOS, it has grabbed the attention of currency speculators. Ethereum has already proved its worth as the biggest dApp platform in the currency word world. But the currency expert says that EOS and its blockchain Block.1 have the potential to overtake, uh, overtake Ethereum. In fact, the rapid growth of EOS accentuates the prediction and one of the reasons why EOS surpassed Ethereum is their ability to eliminate transaction fees. Ethereum, on the other hand, has significant transaction fees. Now, second of those reasons is EOS's ability to handle anywhere between 1,000 to 6,000 transactions each in every second. On the other hand, when you look at the capacity of Ethereum, it can only handle up to 15 transactions every second. Now, EOS, like what I said before, has been developed by Dan Larimer, who is also the inventor of Delegated Proof of Stake and uh, the writer of BitShares and Steemit, which proves that Larimer does does produce angel shares had the exact same terms as eos and it paid out as promised graphene the implementation of depots they plan to use for eos works and has been tested in bit shares for years now it's just a matter of implementing smart contract functionality plus other extras mentioned on top of it so what this ico tells us is that if um if is that um, if there is a downright onslaught 
of FUD that seems to be trying really hard, you'll have to scratch out that um, that project to the top of your due diligence list. A legit project announces a massive ICO and suddenly you have sock puppets at every single mention of EOS for the entirety of the ICO period, bashing it with every argument you can come up with. So that's a clear sign that greedy whales want more EOS, right? So thing is about EOS, they might surpass Ethereum in no time if you combine BitShares and Steemit. Uh, those two hold way more network activity than Ethereum and Bitcoin combined. So EOS is about Block.1 to onboard business onto the blockchain. They have developed real-life products with use cases that are currently being used by people who have no idea it's blockchain, it's blockchain nor have any clue what currencies are or cryptocurrencies are. And that is the future when normal people using blockchain without knowing it. So Ethereum are a million years away of actually handling daily transactions we see today. To be able to be the one protocol, it will need to handle several million uh, transactions a second. So currently we are at 30 something a second. Another fun fact is that EOS already hold more Ethereum than the Ethereum Foundation and the ICO has just started. All that being said, the EOS token we see today holds no real value and it has no purpose as stated in their white paper. Now there is another website we can uh, that we can check out for more uh, news about EOS. So let's just open up this page. Okay, so let's talk about Block.1's um, uh, CEO speaking on EOS Bitmain, I, uh, Bitmain IPO and crypto market. So Block.1 drops $1 billion on EOS VC. Brendan Blummer, the founder, uh, the founder and chief executive officer of Block.1, the startup behind the world-recognized multi-billion dollar EOS.io blockchain project, recently sat down with Bloomberg to discuss a variety of facets in the crypto, uh, current crypto industry. Opening the interview, which stretched out to five minutes only, the Bloomberg host questioned Blummer about Block.1's plans for the $4 billion it raised in the now infamous month-long uh, initial coin offering or ICO. Seeming, uh, seemingly prepared to answer such a question, the startup executive first explained that a majority of crypto assets in the past were issued through a POW and the use of large amounts of electricity. So seeing that EOS token generation is done differently, Bloomer said that the thesis is to divert the funds raised back to the development of the ecosystem. Using the example, uh, the CEO pointed out that Block.1 along with partners had just announced a $1 billion investment into EOS Venture Capital, which will see uh, funds go into the hands of developers and the community to bolster the uh, EOS.io ecosystem. Bloomer elaborated stating, and I quote, so we've shared the first billion dollars of capital with the EOS VC. The primary bulk of the funds are really designed to be used as an investment into developers building on the EOS.io application itself. The first commitment of a billion is what we made public. However, we haven't limited our involvement to that uh, to that first capital injection because there is no need to overfund those projects in the early years. End quote. The industry leader also touched on Block.1's investors, uh, confirming that PayPal co founder Peter Thiel and Bitma uh, Bitmain CEO Jihan Wu have invented or invested into the Cayman Islands based startup through a strategic a strategic investment round. Alluding to why Block.1 would take on these notable investors, Bloomer noted that the EOS platform will disrupt centralized authorities and entities, which will evidently become a big theme in the humanities near future. 
as revealed by CoinDesk, four of the startup's uh, earliest employees recently left Block.1 to start Strong Block, which is a new blockchain project which details have been kept under lock and key. The host of the interview went on to question Blummer on what he thought about this shift. Assuring viewers that EOS.io will still operating as planned, uh, Blummer revealed that no members of uh, Block.1's core team had left and that the firm will still be able to accomplish its plans in full. Moreover, it was noted that the startup had actually encouraged employees to continue their involvement in the crypto sphere, surprisingly enough. The Block.1 founder added, and I quote, we see this as a strong positive sign because although they are no longer with the organization, they're continuing to foster the ecosystem, end quote. All right, so that's all for me for today's latest update on EOS Currency News. Um, let us know what you think in the comment section below and if this is the first time you've watched our video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time on my next video. See ya!